30, baby, won't you meet me by the beans? Too early, maybe later, you could show me things. Jacolia of Jacolia Gems, thank you for once again coming back to view my channel. For those of you that have already subscribed, welcome back home, family. If you have not already done so, what are you waiting for? I know y'all been in my comments site. When you gonna come back with some more videos? So later on today, I am going to upload some teaching videos as requested. I have a story time for y'all, as well as this is going to be very informative to tell black women, be careful, be careful, be careful, be careful, okay? So let's get into this story time. There's a young lady, and we're going to go by the name of Panaya. That's a Hebrew name, actually. She was the sister wife of the woman named Hannah in the Bible. And Panaya was very nasty. She would make fun of Hannah because Hannah was barren, and she was able to give their husband children. So we're going to call this young lady... Panaya, and I'm going to describe her so y'all can see, okay? So, this young lady, she's about 5'9". She thick, like, thick, y'all. Um, She's attractive in the face. Um, she's, she's very attractive in the face. She's a model. She's West African. Um... So, I'm I'm thinking that upon meeting this woman, that some issues that women tend to run into with other women, that maybe I won't have these issues because this is a woman of great physicality. So, this is a model. And um, I'm like, ooh, okay. She dresses well. She has her own bag. She has her own network. Like... She doing her stuff. So, we met at a gathering, I'll say. And the gathering that we met at, it was a lot of money in the room. And we ended up hitting it off because of her Hebrew name, Panaya. And this guy began to tell her that her name was White. And she completely went off and was like, no, it's not. And I was like, no, her name is, is Hebrew. That's that's a Hebrew name. And she was like, yeah, because I'm a Hebrew. And I was like, yeah, me too. And then she started to tell me that one of her parents was from Ghana and the other one was from Liberia. And she asked me what part of Africa I was from too. And I was like, Chicago. <laughs> from Chicago, darling. Um, yo no sé. Como se dice... Um, yeah, um, how do you say, um, yeah, um, I, I, I don't, I don't know. Don't know. So, you know, it was other models there, beautiful women there, you know, my vibe, stuff that I like to do. So we ended up following each other on social media. She would comment under my stuff, like my stuff. I would comment under her stuff, like her stuff. We've spoken briefly before about her music because she does music she's talented and i'm a writer and i'm cold with the pen if y'all ever need ghost writers i'll sign it that nda to be a ghost writer just give me my money give me my publish you know um <laughs> i'm talking to a few of y'all because y'all be watching and all y'all cannot anyways um She's a singer. So, you know, we hit it off on, on that as well. We ended up hanging out at this rooftop event that she threw for her friend. It was her friend's birthday. And, you know, it's a rooftop. I'm, <laughs> I like rooftops, y'all. Um, so, we go. She cool. The night, okay. Things begin to happen that I won't go into too much. Um, and 
yeah, it was very interesting. She was cool that night. We go and we hung out. And this should have really been my last time hanging out. But I was like, you know, it could have been a misinterpretation. And plus, I made it very clear. I'm not looking for a friendship from anybody. I want to network. And if we happen to click and get to know one each other, know one another, that's cool. I don't want to know any of your business and I will not tell you mine. This is a literal, I literally told her this when we went to the rooftop. Um, just to lay everything out on the table. I've, I've been burnt. Pause by women. Like, whew, these story times are about to get so good. <laughs> Um, so we eating, well, no, I'm eating. Both of us ordered two drinks. She sends one back and I'm like, okay, whatever. I thought it was a little weird cause she hadn't even really, anyway, we go to the restroom and we asked the young lady who was serving us to keep our food and to keep our drinks behind the bar. And when we were walking to the restroom, she was like, Oh, they too loose with it. We could run out on this check right now. I don't play like that. I do not play like that. So I'm like, okay, maybe she's joking, but who thinks like that? You know, so I'm just like, okay, whatever. The night continues to go on. She begins to reveal some things to me about the failed friendship from that night at the rooftop and some crazy stuff and i just began you know to take a few things in and i'm like okay so as the night goes on she's telling me oh i'm really not gonna order too much to drink because i got casamigos and wine back at the hotel and you could come back to the hotel so in my mind i had already told myself i'm going home tonight i'm not about to get drunk and I'm going home tonight and I'm not about to be out late. So I was like, oh, I don't drink Casamigos cause I don't, I think it's nasty. I think I've had Casamigos like once. I'm really straight on the tequila. Um, Patron shots in my early twenties got me real straight on the tequila unless it's like a margarita or something. Um, so I'm like, okay. No, you know, I'm good on the Casamigos. I don't drink Casamigos. But then she was saying that she got the room because she had to do an event. Do -do 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 -do. So we started to plan our next hangout session. And she's telling whoever to get us into a day party. And he like, bring the baddies. And she like, oh, don't even trip. I'm bringing her with me. He don't even know me, but, you know, I tend to be the tag along when women have, yeah. So, I'm like, all right, cool. We could do that, whatever. Little day session, whatever. I don't, I don't care. I could sit on the sofa. So, y'all, we go to the bathroom, and while we're in the restroom, she's on the phone with somebody trying to see if we're about to spin out tonight like if we gonna hit a bar or whatever before i actually go home and she tells somebody on the phone oh yeah i'm gonna have my boyfriend and my girlfriend with me and so in my mind i'm piecing things together as well as my history with women because we just gonna be real clear women either want to pretend to be my friend because of a man pretend to be my friend because of access that I have to a man, to events, the free stuff, the free perks, the celebrity connections and all of that, or because they want to sleep with me. I really ain't found too many things <laughs> in between that. This is just the, the truth of the matter. So when she say that, I'm like, Okay, I don't know if she mean that. Like, literally, I'm about to establish a silent boundary. So, what do I do? I send a little text in my phone. I'm like, what you doing? He like, I'm chilling. 
with my cousins and with my homies. So I... <laughs> You know, and the whole time I see Shorty looking at me like her whole demeanor changed. Like I just threw a monkey wrench in her plans. It went from her boyfriend. It went from just her being at the hotel to her boyfriend being at the hotel. Why are you trying to invite me back to the... Okay, but we not finna soon. I'm not about to put my trauma off on this woman and assume anything all right so her demeanor changed because i'm on the phone with a little yeah yeah god he's fine um whole demeanor change um <laughs> so i'm like is this really what she was on so then we end up going to the restaurant and we sitting down and we sitting at the bar and I met this Sephardic Jew and I'm going to tell y'all about him in a later video. It's going to be an educational video. Um, he looked Puerto Rican, but he was Mexican. And it was a very interesting, thought-provoking conversation. Now, mind you, at the first place we went to, she cashed at me her money and I put it on my card. So when I see her hand the waiter, the barkeep, her card, I'm assuming, my fault, my mistake, that, okay, I'm going to just send you my money because that's what we did, right? We go to the bathroom, and it's, you know, a lower level because when you in downtown Chicago, stuff is just built a little different. And the, the bar keep running, running. You didn't pay your tax. Who ain't paid their tax? Who got it? When did you request for us to split our, our receipts? When did you request that? So then I asked, I said, when did you request this? Oh, oh no. I I didn't even realize. I gave him my American Express. Dear. So I'm signing the receipt. Oh, and let's go back because when I paid for the first time, she looked at the receipt and she looked at the tip and she was like, oh my God, you gave her such a big tip. So when I'm trying to sign this one and I'm going to tip them, she's over my shoulder. But in my mind, I'm like, did you really just play with me like that? And then where she was staying there was only about five or 10 minutes from the restaurant. I was Ubering back to the West side. Y'all think she stayed away from me to get in my Uber before? No, right? So I said, okay, cool. We gonna keep it business. Because I already told you, I wasn't looking for a friendship. So if I come around you, baby, it's networking and I want to get out and get a fresh breath of air so we don't get it twisted. So last night it got interesting. <laughs> I went outside and, you know, we vibing. It's a whole bunch of African men. We had the Yoruba, the Edo, we had the Akan. Like it was just a, a fest of African men. And I'm sitting back, I'm talking and I'm noticing throughout the night, she brought her friend with her. She is staring at me and watching me. And I'm like, oh, here we go again. So y'all, me and this gentleman are having a conversation and he looks so good. He looks so good. He was so chocolate. And he had a big old beard that looked like he bathed in juices and berries. Like, oh my God. What did Aubrey say? You look like you bathed in magnesia and copper tone. Oh my God. He was fine, y'all. And we just, we having a conversation about where he's from, what tribe he's from, do 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 And we about to exchange information. She walks up and places her phone in his hand. He not thinking nothing of it because I'm watching his face. He just like, oh, um, she's like, oh, follow me on Instagram. Mind you throughout the night, some of us have been following each other on Instagram. I'm peeping this. And I told her, I was like, that's not cute. I said, you can talk to her. Um, 
I'm good. She was like, oh, 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 so you're just insecure. <laughs> you're insecure. You're insecure. I said, excuse me? You the one that got the blonde weaving your hair and them contacts on, and you out here in a bathing suit at 9 o'clock at night just because we on the beach. That's not, but I'm insecure. Don't you have a boyfriend? Don't you have a boyfriend? Baby, this man don't belong to me. None of these th men belong to me. I'm the prize possession, darling. <laughs> I can't have ownership over a man even if he was my... Oh, you uncouth, uncircumcised Philistine. Like, how dare you? You can have them. But this is what you've been wanting to do all along. And it's just because I'm good and prayed up that people's intentions have been exposing themselves very, very, very quickly. And it does not take years anymore. Hello. So black women, just because she looks good too, don't mean that she don't have no insecurities. Don't mean that she won't place herself in competition with you. Don't mean that she don't have some inward workings and things that she needs to get together herself. But also, y'all, when we see the red flags in these women, just leave them alone. Just leave them alone. I was honestly just, you know, going to help style her in her photo shoots and different things like that. You know, get my feet back wet in the modeling industry as well as helping her out some. You know, she wanted to film together and do this together and do that together. And I had even noticed throughout the night that she would walk in front of me and I just thought it was the funniest thing ever. And the entire time, I still think she's beautiful. It has a lot going for herself. She's just another weird, weird, weird female. This is what we'll call this the chronicle of the weird. Okay? <laughs> I'm going to be back with some more story times, y'all. Bye.